Welcome to Spelling Analysis. Today we get to use our new spelling rule, and that is G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Does it always? No, but it may. We also will get to use our new phonogram, A, I. Now, if I hold up four fingers, you'll know that this is probably our AI phonogram as we're sounding this out. So go ahead and get ready to write your words. Put down your pencils to begin, or your tiles as we always do. The first word is eight. She is eight years old, eight. Go ahead and sound out, or say eight, eight, and then let's sound it out. Um, a, Oh, how many letters were used to spell that A? That's right, it's four, so it's our new phonogram, A-I. Eight. Go ahead and write eight. Now help me to write it. A, T. And how will we mark eight? You're right, we'll underline the A. Let's sound it out. Eight, eight. The next word is replace. I will need to replace the tire. Replace. Replace means to get a new one. Go ahead and say replace. Replace. How many syllables in replace? Hmm, hmm. Two. Let's say, uh, let's say to spell replace. What will you say to spell? Replace. The first syllable is re, er, e. The second syllable is place. L A S. This is a k -s, silent final E. Go ahead and write replace. Excellent. You're sounding it out. Now help me to do it. R E. Second syllable is place. P L A S. Silent final E. All right. How will we mark replace? We'll put a line over the E. Why did the E say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. How else will we mark it? We'll put a line over the A. And what sound of K -s do we hear? The second sound, S, replace. And we have a silent final E. Why do we have a silent final E in replace? You're right. The vowel says it's long sound because of the E. And it's there for a second reason. Do you see it? It makes the C soften to S. The C says S because of the E. Without it, it would say replac. But with it, it says replace. All right, good job. The next word is gem. There is a gemstone in the ring, gem. Go ahead and sound out gem. All right, the first word, oh, the first sound is j, g, j. E, m. Got it? Gem. All right, help me to write it. J, e, m. All right, how will we mark gem? What sound of g, j do we hear? The second. And why is it saying it's second sound? That's right, it's before an E. G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. And here it's before an E. Let's sound it out. J, E, M, gem. The next word is sound. I heard a strange sound. Sound, go ahead and say sound. Sound, let's sound it out. S, ow, use an ow, o, u, u, u. N, d, sound. I love how you're sounding out the word sound. <laughs> All right, help me to sound it out. Sound, s, ow, n, d. Very good, and how will we mark it? Well, underline the ow. And what sound of ow, o, u, u, u is this? the first sound, ow, s ow n d sound. The last word is gym. Would you like to go to the gym to play basketball? Gym, go ahead and say gym, gym. Let's sound it out, 
j, this is a g, j, e, this is a y, e, i, e, m. Let's do it one more time. Jim, j, g, j, e, y, e, i, e, m. Got it? I think you do. Good job sounding it out. Now help me to write it. J, e, m. How will we mark this one? What sound of g, j do we hear? The second. What sound of y, e, i, e is this? That's right, it's saying e. Is it, is e a vowel sound? E. We can sing it so it's a vowel sound. I'll put a little breathe over it to show us that it's saying it's short vowel sound. Mm. Let's sound it out. J, e, m, jim. Why did the G say J in Jim? G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Here it's before a Y, so it said J, Jim. Look at all of these words that you can now explain. These are very interesting words, and I'm so glad that you know the rules and how those work in these words. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.